Oh man, that's like the front of the heckin' uh, what do you call it? Sheesh, the Aurora. Or maybe that's part of it that broke off the main part of it. Sheesh. God, that thing is so massive. Definitely want to go explore that thing very, very soon, you guys. We're just kind of memeing around lately. Teching up a lot, though. But we're just kind of memeing around. Kind of not really getting a lot of, like, actual storyline stuff done lately. Which, speaking of storylines, let me try and find the Stargate real quick. And then we can listen to the other Degazi tape from Margaret herself. Is this it? I think it is. Uh, yep, there's the Stargate right there, okay. Well, let's just, yeah, let's go to the, uh, it just makes sense, right? <laughs> go to Degazi Island to hear the Degazi tape. And we're going through the wormhole with Morgan Freeman! I'm Morgan Freeman. I'm God. That was terrible Morgan Freeman in <laughs> uh, Anyways, let's go back to the voice, or, uh, not that one. Uh, yeah, that one has, like, completely gibberish. Probably broken or something. Anyways, uh, data downloads. Degassi survivors. Let's go to this one right here. Wait, hold on. Disaster marooned. Yeah, we've. I think we've listened to all of those. Public documents. What in the world? Altera citizen and testimonials. Don't know if I want to listen to that right now. Degassi crew manifest. Margaret Maida. Let's see what that one says. Oh, whoa. I thought it was a uh, voice log, but I guess not. I guess I could read it real quick. Degassi crew manifest. Margaret Maida. Auxiliary search and rescue mission. Margaret Maida. Position. Freelance security personnel. Status. Lost in space near planet 4546B. Age at time of disappearance. 42. Mercenary. Born in the Mongolian states. Experienced in ship to ship and close quarters combat techniques. Tours of duty with the Mongolian Defense Force and the Trans System Federation. Dishonorably discharged from the TSF 15 years ago for going off mission. Details classified. Emissary Kazar or Kazar reports Meta was hired to accompany Paul Torgal on board the Zigazi into uncharted space and defend the ship in case of assault by pirates or rival corporations. Interesting stuff. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. Kind of tells us a little bit of a backstory to Margaret Meta, of course, the mercenary on the Zigazi. Anyways, a uh, bioreactor. Yeah, how, how does this thing work? On planets where organic matter is plentiful, but sunlight is not. Oh, I guess we throw fish in this thing and turns it into energy, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> a reliable bioreactor will frequently prove the most efficient power solution. May be installed in any multipurpose habitat room. Chemically composts organic materials, converting them into energy over time. Accepts all plant matter from seeds and spores to moldy fruits and vegetables. Can also process animal matter, fat, muscle, eggs, etc., and some organic waste products. Energy production is proportionate to the calories in the organic matter. Ooh, so I guess, you know, the bigger the critter is, the more calories it has, and therefore more energy this bioreactor can produce from it. The bioreactor, totally organic. <laughs> no GMO. Habitat installations, floodlight, don't need that garbage, modification station, planters and pots. Interior planters come in a variety of configurations and allow for most plant species to be grown in small numbers for decorative or botanical use. Modification station. Yeah, we've pretty much already learned about this thing like just by using it right equipment propulsion cannon yeah i don't know why i'd want this the propulsion cannon allows technicians to manipulate gravitational forces that range up to 20 meters it is commonly used in construction and mining to move materials Ooh, eh, that might be useful here in the future i suppose but for us right now don't think we really have a use for it anyways i'm going to pause the recording go back to the get are we on to the yeah, we are on the- yeah, I remember going through the wormhole with, uh, Morgan Freeman himself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyways, gotta pause the recording, head back home on my sea glide real quick. Where in the wrong- oh, this way? Yeah, this way. Holy heck, I went through the wrong direction. Sheesh. <laughs> uh, anyways, gotta pause the recording, head back home, and I guess we can continue- yeah, you know what? Yeah. Let's go back home. I'm going to make the Ultra Glide fins, which, of course, yeah, now that I think about it, we should be able to spend more time underwater with the Ultra Glide fins, because, of course, we can move a lot faster, right? So we'd be able to explore a lot more with the limited amount of oxygen we'll have, so I didn't even think about that, but yeah, definitely going to make those, and then let's come back over here and try and get those alien eggs. Maybe make an alien container. Do we have the alien containment unit already, or just, I don't think we do, but it's worth ch Yes, we do. We have an alien containment. Ooh, maybe we could put that on like the second floor of our multi-purpose tower or something like that. Provides optimal conditions for flora and fauna. Add a hatch to enter. So I guess that's what we're going to have in terms of the uh, rare critter. So yeah, let's go get that rare egg. And then I guess, I, it don't really matter which beach we're on. Yeah, I just go get on my sea line and head back. 
And I guess we make the alien containment unit, make the ultra glide fins, come back over here and grab that egg, and I guess go hatch the egg inside the alien containment unit. I guess that's what we're going to be doing, so- oh, heading the wrong way. <laughs> so I guess I'm going to pause the recording, head back home, and I'll see you guys here in a bit, and after we do that, I suppose we can go to do these other missions. I'm like, we've basically been ignoring them lately with all of our teching we've been doing, so it's definitely worth it to go explore, get some more storyline stuff done, go explore, like, the deep depths that our, apparently our Seamoth is not able to explore, at least, you know, without upgrades and stuff like that. Anyways, going to pause the recording, head back home, and hopefully when I come back, this heckin' band isn't playing outside, so I'll see you guys here in a bit. Alright guys, back. The band is still playing outside. I, I really hope it's not picking up on a heckin' camera. I'm gonna freak the heck out if it's, like, blasting in the background. Sheesh. Anyways, we do need lithium, titanium, silicone rubber, and our fins to get the Ultra Glide fins. But I did just get a bunch of quartz right here, and therefore a bunch of glass. And now we should be able to make the alien containment unit. But what all do we actually need to make the actual thing? Oh, just two more titanium and we're good to go. Alright. I guess we could put that on the second floor, huh? There we go, two titanium, and what else do we probably need more titanium? The silicon rubber, and the, uh, there it is right there, some silicon rubber, some lithium, I don't know how much we need, just one, I think. And of course the fins, I guess, I guess the fins on our, I guess we have to take those off, right? Yeah, there we go. Uh, just regular old fins. And boom, yes, ultra glide fins, let's make those. I'm like, I don't know how to make the other thing, though, so that's kind of unfortunate. Anyways, yeah, you can see over here we even have some batteries, so I guess I could just grab, uh, grab one of those batteries, get my C-Glad. Switch that battery out, because of course that is only at 32%. Ugh. Makes me want to vomit. 32% battery. Ugh. Ugh. I don't know how I haven't vomited yet. Sheesh. <laughs> this uh, flashlight, 77%. That's 94%. The scanner is probably pretty high as well. All right. Well, now we should be able to make the thing. Let's go back upstairs onto the second. Here we go. Second floor. Or should we put it on the first floor? Oh, sheesh. There's so much stuff here. So much life, if you will. Climb down. There we go. Hmm, now how big is this though? I'm like, I don't quite know, because I've never even... Honestly, we could probably- oh, sheesh. We could probably fit that in here, you guys. Can I fit that in the main room though? I, I feel like I might be able to. Um, uh, just barely not, it seems. Yeah. Alright, well, yeah. You guys wanna do it? I'm like, I kinda want to. Although, if we do want to go into the, our uh, scanner room, we have to go around it. If we want to go up to our plant thing, we have to go around it. But, eh, let's put it right here. Alien containment. Well, I guess it's just called an alien containment thing, not an alien containment unit. I mean, it is a unit, right? Sheesh. Aquariums provide an ideal opportunity to study alien fauna up close. Select carefully which life forms you bring on board. They may also be studying you. Yeah, they're heckin' smarter than me, I'll tell you that much. Whoa, do we go to the second floor to go inside of it? No, I guess it just changes that to be a glass so you can see it from above. And it did also say, hey... You can go inside of it if you have a hatch, so I guess, uh, oh, we have to go down first, there we go. Uh, hatch, where, oh, there it is right there, and I guess we could put it, like, on this side. Let's make it, let's put it right here. That way, it's kind of out of the way. Oh, I need one more titanium, because right here, I'm like, I kind of want to have a straight view at our critters. And then over here, I'm like, we have the scanner room, over here, of course, we have the ladder, so right there, we don't have anything right there. And, of course, if we do have something there, we could always move this to maybe, oh, wait, I wonder if I could put it, like, right here on this corner now I think about it. Hold on. Can I do that? So if I try and make the hatch, yeah, I don't think I'm able to, what in the world? Oh, I can make another hatch right here, what in the heck? Well, that's kind of interesting. I just like go straight outside, I suppose. So yeah, it doesn't look like you could put a hatch like on the, on the corner, so that's kind of unfortunate. Man. All right, well, let's go inside of our titanium thing, get even more, I think we just need like, what, one more titanium and we're good to go. And then I guess we're able to go inside the alien containment thing and it's basically an environment specifically for critters, I suppose. So, oh, and now that I have lithium. Oh, yep, there's nothing in here, I assume. Oh, planter. Oh, I, yeah, I guess I can plant stuff inside here as well, yeah. Maybe that's where we could use the, uh, the voxel plant. Or, no, nah, the vo yeah, this is like a water thing, isn't it? Yeah, I can't put the voxel shrub in there because that's a uh, above ground uh, type plant. So that's kind of unfortunate. Might want to put like uh, other types of plants inside there if I want to do that. But yeah, I could probably get rid of the quartz skin. Don't need that. Lagging my game hardcore. <laughs> But yeah, I guess we just put like alien eggs inside there and let them hatch or something and we'll be good to go. And speaking of alien eggs, let's go back to the... Oh, hold on, sheesh, I almost forgot the most important thing. We need to go back over here 
And yeah, hold on. How do we make the tank upgrade? Uh, yeah, plasteel. Yeah, I should be able to do that. No problem. I'm like, I'm not over here bragging or anything, but yeah, I might as well turn all of our scuba tanks into the high capacity meme. So let me just turn all these into titanium ingots and stuff like that. Uh, there we go. That's that. And whoa, what did we need to combine with the titanium ingot to turn it into plasteel? I forget. Uh, two lithium. Ooh, okay. Well, at least we have tons of that, you guys. So we have two more tanks. We have two, a total of three tanks. So we just need to go grab four lithium, I think, right now. And then we'll be able to combine those together with our tanks that we already have. Uh, this one over here. Yes, two, three, four. There you go. And then we should be able to have two upgraded... Uh, oh, I need to turn them into... <laughs> I forgot to turn them into plasteel first, you guys. Sheesh. Anyways, there you go. One more plasteel right there. And another one right there. DJ God in the house. Man, I'm feeling so good. I, I, I'm glad that I spent a few episodes here. You guys are probably like, hey, uh, do something already, right? Jeez. <laughs> but, oh. Whoa, whoa, lag is heck, sheesh. But you guys are probably like, hey, you're at home teching and stuff like that. You've got terrible frame rate. There's a band playing outside. What in the world's going on with this game? What in the world's going on with this series? <laughs> So, I'm like, you do have to tech up. You can't just be low tier tech. And they, I have been getting comments over time saying, hey, get this, get that. So, it was only a matter of time until I finally, you know, upgraded all my stuff and teched up the, climbed up the tech tree, I guess you could say. But anyways, let me put up all the uh, quartz. There we go. The salt, I'll put that up over on yeah, as well, even though we have, like, no room. Yeah, you guys probably saw I have a grav trap outside. I'm trying to catch fish and stuff like that, but, uh, oh, whoa. The grav trap went flying all the way over here. But, uh, yeah, I, I really want to, like, find peepers and stuff like that and, of course, cure them and stuff like that. So maybe I'll get on my sea glide and then catch a bunch of peepers and then cure them and stuff like that. Because I do have tons and tons of salt thanks to our water filtration device. So I do need to start using the salt as well as, you know, build a pretty good amount of cured peepers in our, uh, I guess you could call that the fridge. <laughs> so I guess I'm going to pause the recording, get a bunch of peepers and cure them, and I guess I'll see you guys over at Degazi Island, and then we can dip down about 500 meters below the surface, go to their base, thoroughly scan the area for Cyclopses. And if we can't find any there, let's just go to the Aurora, see if we can find a Cyclops there. Yeah, I, I guess I'll take the sea moth over there. I'm like, I might as well. Uh, see what happens if we take it under the 200 meters. I'm definitely curious about that. It's probably going to start taking damage. I didn't think about it, yeah. But, like I said a million times, I'm going to pause the recording, and I will see you guys here in a bit. Alright, guys, are back. And we're going to the Gazi Island. Really want to see what happens whenever this thing, I guess, gets a little bit too deep. See if it actually does physically take damage. Man, that's a reef bag that's really low down. Holy heck. Sheesh. Oh, what in the world? Is that a... Is that a piece of, like... Yeah, there is a fragment down there. I wonder what that is. Hold on. What is that? Bioreactor friend. Wait, hold on. We already have the... Yeah, we already have the bioreactor. Okay, not that big of a deal. Let's get back on our Seamoth. Let's keep heading over there. Actually, yeah, dude. We do have this other one over here, though. Hold on. We do have this one that's 300 meters below. That's 100 meters more than the 200 meters, I guess, our Seamoth is currently able to go. So, I suppose that'd be kind of a cool thing to just kind of check real quick. See if this thing is able to survive. Even if it isn't able to survive. And if it does take damage under there, of course, we can just repair it with our repair gun pretty easily, I'd say. So let's just make, I guess we can make our way down to life pod 19. The second officer King's last broadcast location. Apparently he went, uh, um, actually, yeah. I don't remember which one this is. Man, we've had like so many like transmissions and stuff like that. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> Anyways, if we do it like the 200 meter mark and we are taking damage or at least our Seamoth is, we can always just like get out, I suppose, and then use our Seamoth as sort of like a oxygen checkpoint, I guess you could say. Anyways, ooh, 198 meters. I don't know if I want to go any deeper. I definitely want to go over this ridge, though. Seems like we need to go about right here, I suppose. You guys want to do it? Let's go down. Turn our light on. Yes. See what happens. Warning. Maximum damage uh -oh. reached. Hull damage imminent. Holy heck, yeah. Wow, that did a lot of damage right there. Down to 80 right there. Holy heck, definitely need to get my repair gun out. Man, glad that I got new batteries for this thing, but... We're in the... There it is right there. I guess I'll do that. And then repair. Man. Okay, well, this is going to be our oxygen checkpoint, I suppose, right? So I guess we could just go straight down. Yeah, we do have a sea glide. Might as well use it, right? Uh, I guess we could use our light, because there's no other way for me to see, right? Jeez. Uh, wow. Lots of stuff here. Lots of critters. A little bit of quartz. Oh, wow. There it is right there. Life pod 19. What is that? Is that a, uh... Yeah, it is a PDA. Second Officer King Keen's voice log. New PDA data. Do we have some uh, gel sacks over here? We can make some arrow gel if we get some rubies. Let's grab some of this. Oh, is there anything here? Oh, I thought there was. There's like a giant 
reefer something here. Hmm, interesting stuff. Anyways, more, just more fish around here. I do have my thousand degree knife. I can slice and dice, but let's go inside. Oh, there's a data box or something. Yep. High capacity, ultra high capacity tank. Whoa! Awesome. Wait, how do we get in this? Oh, here we go. All right, let's go inside. Let's get, oh. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Okay. I guess that's it. I don't think there's anything else in here for me to scan or new PDA data. anything. Just, uh, peer, uh, what's it called? Life, Life Pod 19. That's pretty much all the stuff that's here. Let's keep going around real quick. See if there's anything around here that might be worthwhile. There is this. What is this? Silver ore, I think that was. Nice. Oh, and there's a thing. What is that? Oh, that's an uh, ultra. Oh, wait, time capsule. Whoa, 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 whoa. I was taking damage for something. The world. Oh, sheesh. I don't know what else to take damage from right there, you guys. Wow. Anyways, I do need to switch out. There we go. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of the titanium. Apparently, I didn't have any inventory space for a couple things in that time capsule, I guess. I wonder what uh, happened to them. Can I grab those things? Oh, wait, what in the world? Oh, no. Uh-oh. I guess I never uh, filled up my other... Oxygen tanks! No! No, 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 Zemoth! No, man! Come on! Let's go, Zemoth! Holy heck! Holy heck! That was lucky as heck! How spamming right there, hardcore! Oh my gosh! Wow! Big, big, big mistake right there, but lucky as heck that we got in our Zemoth. I was spamming it right there whenever I thought we were getting up next to it. Holy heck, that was a... Oh, whoa, whoa! We have... Two thermal blades now. Okay. I guess I could eat the... Yeah, let's eat that speed. Fa oh, ion battery. Nice. I guess we just got that from getting more inventory space, I suppose. There we go. And we got a deep shroom spore. And we have a quartz. I, I kind of want to keep the quartz, you know? Hmm. I guess I can drink some water. There we go. Oh, we got a uh, gel sack spore. Nice. I suppose we get the uh, external... Or uh, what's it called? Yeah, I think it is external grow bed. So I guess we still have the time capsule on our inventory right now, technically. But... We're getting the items whenever we have inventory space. So, I suppose... Ah, what do I want to... Is that salt? Yeah, it is salt. Okay, I thought that was like another PDA or something. Hmm, what else can I drop out of my inventory right now? Ah, man, I don't really want to drop anything, you know? I, I don't want to drop the gel sacks. Disinfected water. I guess I could drink that just to get a little bit more... Sp oh, marble melon seed. Nice. Oh, in the world, we have two habitat builders. Huh. I guess I can get rid of one of them. I'm like, I don't need two of them. Right? Like, there's no point. Same thing with the thermo blade. I don't think I already have the thermo blade. I don't think I could do anything with the thermo blade. But I suppose I could just drop it off inside of his base. In case anyone else comes over here, hears the signal, and it's like, hey, what if that fella's still down here? Sheesh. Anyways, yeah, I don't know what's going on over here. I, can I scan that stuff? That, that stuff seems dangerous. Oh, whoa, it's, oh, it's, a, it's a fish fellow. What in the world? What in the... Yeah, get off me, you piece of trash. Probably what's been killing me. Holy heck. These little blood-sucking critters. Holy... Okay, definitely want to watch out for those guys, you guys. Sheesh. Anyways, I guess those plants over there are okay. Let me go back inside this thing and just kind of drop them off inside here. This is kind of a... I'm like, he did leave that time capsule, so I don't care. Take it. Drop that trash. Drop that trash. Oh, wait. Okay, I dropped the one with <laughs> less charge. That's good. Anyways, I don't think I'm getting anything else right now. I guess I can keep... Ah! We do have full inventory. Yeah, I'm like, we do have a full inventory right now. We don't need these extra things. I do need to have some inventory space for those rare as heck critter eggs and stuff like that. So definitely want to save up for that. More uh, caves and stuff over here. Definitely want to explore that here in a bit. But of course, I don't really have the uh, the time to do that. And the inventory space too, just like I said. Anyway, see off. I wonder how low we can actually take this thing. Oh, whoa. Aurora. Rendezvous point? Dry land? Ooh. Why is that? Why is that selected? Hold on. That's the... No, no, no. That was the... Uh... Well, I guess I might as well go there. I wonder if anyone else is going to be there. I I don't remember that being... Oh, it... oh hold on. Yeah. I think one of those uh, LifePod 19 rendezvous things. I think... Is this it? Yeah, I'll just go like on the inside of that. I think one of those uh, PDAs, the voice log or whatever, I think those might have had information about a rendezvous point over here, so that's why it's probably showing me something here, but of course, probably no one here, right? Dry land. Why would we be on the inside, though? Yeah, there's no one here. Hmm. All right. Oh, whoa, whoa. There's a day or a PDA, though. Hmm. Let's see. Rendezvous voice log. 
Data. Man, our, our heckin' Seamoth looks so cool. Look at that thing. It looks like a UFO, but, like, underwater. A USO. Unidentified submersible object. I don't know if there's anything else here worthwhile. While we're just kind of memeing around here in this general area. Oh, yeah, you might have seen I changed the Seamoth icon to orange. That way it's, you know, more distinguishable against the, the blue background of water and stuff like that. I might have already said that on camera. Whatever, I forgot. <laughs> Anyways, get back in the Seamoth. You know what? Yeah, the Seamoth is actually a great place for us to hang out. Whenever we're trying to, uh, you know, listen to data logs and do anything else, and like I showed earlier, filling up oxygen tanks and stuff like that. Definitely want to remember that. Anyways, I guess we could, uh... Hmm. Yeah, let me... I was about to say, like, can I remember? Oh, whoa, what? What's here? Something's new here. Ooh. Oh, yeah, the ultra-high-capacity tank. Wow, we can do that, you guys. Although, I don't know if we can... It says high-capacity O2 tank. Of course, we turned all of ours into lightweight high-capacity tanks. So, I wonder if it is able to be turned i'm like we have tons of lithium we just got tons of lithium so we should be able to get insane amounts of uh, oxygen from those high capacity oh ultra high capacity oxygen tanks so anyways let's try and dip down as far as we can here oh yeah i wanted to set the other uh, waypoint for the uh what was it called proposed to gazi habit uh, it was 500 meters wasn't it i don't think it was this one right i don't think it's showing there in the background let's see if there's anything else here worthwhile oh yeah here it is right here proposed to get there it is right there yeah let's go uh, about as deep as I can get before we, of course, start taking whole damage to our Seamoth. So. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Barely I can tap the, uh, the button right there and it takes damage. Sheesh. Let's repair it real quick. Oh, whoops. Wrong button. Wrong button. Repair and boom. I think we're good. All right. So that should be a pretty good little spot for us to just kind of get a little bit of oxygen and stuff like that. Oh, wait. Hold on. Oh, wait. Yeah, right here. Or... Mm, I'm like, I kind of want to move the uh, the Seamoth to be a little bit closer to the entrance and stuff like that, you know? <laughs> Just in case we do have yet another near-death experience, you know? <laughs> I don't want to be too far away from this thing, but of course we can't take it below 200 meters. So let's try and take it... Uh, which way was it? I think this way. I think we need to go this way. Of course, staying above that 200 meter line. Uh, is this good? Uh, can't really tell. <laughs> oh man, I don't know, you guys. Oh, there we go. Is this good? Hopefully it is. Hopefully it went. The world is at. Wait, hold on. Why is there a, uh... Why is there a life pod icon there? Eh, whatever. This is close enough. I don't know why there's a life pod icon on the bottom left, but I can't... It's, like, stuck there. Okay, whatever. Anyways, let's go back to the base. To the old abandoned base, that is. See if we'll be able to find that rare as heck creature egg down here. Of course, we do need to watch out for those crab squid. Because, of course, those guys, I do not believe, are very friendly. I even got some comments from you guys saying, Hey, there is a Leviathan hanging out in this cave. So we do need to watch the heck out. There's a crab squid right there. Oh, wait. Oh, more of those gels, actually. Okay, well, let's go inside the actual thing itself. The actual multi-purpose room tower. And there it is right there. There's the proposed Gazi habitat and all that kind of stuff. So, okay, yeah, here's a hatch. Those are the eggs, I believe, that you guys were talking about in the comments. I don't think there's anything else here worthwhile. So let's just go inside. Oh, is there a hatch here for me to go inside? Uh, I'm not seeing a hatch here, you guys. Oh, there's. A, I think there's a hatch on the on the top bit, the top portion. I don't think there's anything in here. All right, well we have another minute or so. Ah, where's the ladder to go up? Man, I don't know. Or is there a ladder to go down? Oh yeah, there is a ladder to go down. Okay. How in the world do you get into there? Oh, there's a crab squid. Oh my gosh, I don't know how to get in there, you guys. Uh, oh, creature egg. Wait, is that the one? Um, I don't know. I'll just take it just because why not? I thought you guys were talking about the egg. Maybe that is the egg you guys were talking about. I think... Oh my gosh, that guy just does not shut up, does he? Oh! Oh my god! Okay, well... 30 seconds. 30 seconds of oxygen. Okay, thankfully both of ours still have full oxygen. That's great. Yeah, I don't think I can go inside the actual alien containment unit. Oh, yeah, those aren't eggs. Yeah, those aren't eggs. Those are, uh, little, like, coral things or something like that. So I think the egg we have in our inventory is indeed one of those rare eggs. So I think the job here is done, you guys. Let's just skiddly don daddle on out of here. Head, head, back. Head back to the Seamoth. Oh, some just got warped right there. Holy heck, need to watch out for warpers. Wow. Still more of those, uh, I oh, mean, I forgot what those guys would call it, but they are friendly, or at least neutral. So we don't need to worry about them, so... 
And it was just headed back towards the moth. I don't know how far, how far is it? Oh my god, that thing's 200 heckin' meters away. Wow. We're at, yeah, we are at 400 meters of depth. I guess I can get that ruby if I do have the inventory space. There we go. Get a little bit more aerogel. Might as well. And let's just go right back up towards the moth. Yeah, I don't know what that, uh, that little thing on the left is there. It's not, it's not moving whatever I'm moving my, uh, my, myself. So I don't know what's going on with that. Anyways, let's go back to the Seamoth, and let's actually listen to these data logs. We got a lot of them for, what was that, uh, Abandoned, or was it called, Life Pod 19? Welcome aboard, Captain. Hmm, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Stupid. Anyways, there's a critter egg right there. Let's go over to the voice log, or, uh... Wait, what does this thing say? Hold on. Aquariums provide an ideal opportunity to study alien fauna up close. Select carefully which life forms you bring on board. They may also be studying you. Oh, yeah, yeah, we heard that whenever we, uh, first made our aquarium. I thought it had something to do with that one base right there. Anyways, Life Pod 19, Second Officer Keen's crew log. Oh, it's not a, uh, it's not a recording. To all crew, if you are reading this, then you have followed the automatic distress signal broadcast by the Life Pod's onboard computer. Contrary to my orders, I have been forced to evacuate. Your orders are to disregard my safety and attempt to reach the designated rendezvous coordinates at the nearest landmass. I hope to see you there. Oh, here it is right here, a voice log. Live by 19, second officer Keen's voice log. Let's listen. Keen, this is Aurora. Come in. This is Keen. Live pod detached to a cave planet fall in 30 seconds. The computer has identified a landmass at the attached coordinates. I want you to regroup the crew there. Understood, but they are your responsibility now. Don't let them down. Captain, you need to evacuate. Negative. You'll need the ship in one piece if you're going to contact HQ on the long range. I'm attempting a controlled descent. Captain! Whoa! Okay, well, the captain of the Aurora sounds suspiciously like Paul Torgel. It's kind of crazy. That's like, the, that's like the third person I've heard that sounds like Paul Torgel. It's kind of crazy. Anyways, rendezvous voice log. Let's see what this one says. Oh, it's not a uh, actual voice log. I guess I have to read it. Oh, wait, it is. Yeah, 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 it is. There's a play button up here. Let's listen. We have to board the Aurora, repair the long-range comms, make contact with the other survivors. We can't be the only two that made it. Those are not the orders the captain gave me, and they are not the orders I'm giving you. This isn't chain of command. It's survival. My obligations as acting commander don't turn on their convenience. Get out of the water. If I get into trouble, I'll send you my coordinates. I can't let you go alone. Then come with me. You don't leave me much choice. Received emergency transmission from Second Officer Keen two hours after last activity. Rendezvous was a failure. Intercepted a transmission from Altera HQ. Seems they sent a data package to the Aurora. We were intercepted by a Leviathan-class predator before we could reach the ship. Consider the CTO and I lost at sea. Be safe. Keen, out. Boy, well, yeah, we can we could tell the rendezvous was a failure. We didn't see anyone there, so obviously they didn't make it to the rendezvous point. I'm like, it was in the middle of the island, so let's just face the facts. That's kind of hard to find. <laughs> like, how is there going to be, like, water in the middle of the island like that? Like, who's going to predict a heckin' floating island like that on this planet? I don't know, maybe these guys are used to floating islands. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, it seems like no one, absolutely, oh wait, hold on, do we have anything else here? But it seems like there's literally, like, no one surviving anything. Altera Citizen Testimonials. Uh, I don't know if I want to read that. That's a lot of stuff for, I assume, not anything super relevant right now. Oh, yeah, that's the floodlight. Don't care about that trash. But anyways, I guess that's, oh, wait, indigenous light. Yeah, we have so much stuff, fauna and flora, carnivore. Uh, yeah, we do want to read about, like, that. Well, there's crab squid. Ten limbs. Man, there's a lot of stuff there. Sand shark. Man, there's so much stuff. Man. I'm like, yeah, I love that the, oh, and there's the warper. Oh, yeah, the warper doesn't have too much. I guess if we read it, but man, there's so much information. I'm like, I'm not complaining because, of course, more information the better, but man, so much stuff for me to read. The warper, an aggressive creature with the ability to teleport itself and others in space. No genetic crossover identified with indigenous life forms. Demonstrates no recognized defensive behavior. One, head. Mechanisms located in the head region provide its warping capability, which it uses to stalk its targets. Two, torso, appears to hunt other life forms, but no digestive organs have been identified. Internal structure considerably more complex than other known organisms. Unable to distinguish whether organic or artificial in nature. Ooh. I'm like, it looks organic. But then again, it could be artificial. It could be purposely made like that, just to kind of throw someone like me off a puny-brained human. Ugh. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I, I still don't know what that icon there is. I might want to go, like, look it up and see what other people are saying about it. But anyways, guess we're going to go back home, you guys. We, we got the critter egg. Might as well go throw it inside of our alien containment unit. Hopefully the alien containment unit is going to, you know, contain the aliens. <laughs> and we don't have to worry about that. Man, two kilometers away for that thing. Another two over there. Sheesh. Well, that one's 250 meters away. Might be able to go there with our life pod or uh, sea moth. That one's 500. Yeah, that one's 500. It's on the heckin' sea floor. Uh, life pods sunk 500 meters. Yeah, I think they talked about that one hitting the sea floor. So yeah, that one's as far deep down as the heckin'. Oh my god. Man, my light isn't able to shine on that thing. Man, that thing's far as heck away. But they sunk down as much as the, uh, oh, here we are at the surface. As the Degazi 500 meter one. So that one's going to be quite the adventure to go over there. Any other, uh, yeah, I'm not seeing any other things on our map. I might as well get rid of oh, the world's that noise. I don't know what that noise is. It sounds like something breaking. That was kind of crazy. Alright. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, let me get rid of the other uh, Degazi thing on the beacon manager. Get rid of the proposed Degazi habitat. Oh, camera drone one, camera drone. I, I could probably turn those off. Just because I don't really need them right now. I don't really need to have like a million different little beacon things there, right? There it is right there. Just turn that one off because I don't need that trash. Alright, well, how long is that going to be? Was that 500 meters away? Yeah, we should be able to get home here in just a bit. Oh, wait, no, it was only 300 meters away. Yeah, we're like almost at home already. Sheesh, this is kind of crazy, you guys. <laughs> Anyways, let's just go back home. Let's go lay down the egg inside the alien containment unit. And I guess just kind of go from there. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you very much. And we have salt and water in there. Nice. All right, well, we do need to eat something. Do we have anything here to eat other than... I guess I might... Yeah, let's eat the cured paper. Might as well. And then drink some of the water. Boom, boom. And I think we're good to go. Let's throw the creature egg inside the thing. The alien containment unit. And let's see what's going on. Uh, what if we, I guess, lay this guy's egg in here. Use planter. Do I just place the egg in the pl- I don't think I do, do I? Yeah, I think I, I think we just drop it, right? Yeah, just drop it. I guess we're good to go. There it is right there. Hmm, what is that? Oh, it's like a piece of seaweed or something. Oh, wait, hold on. Didn't they give me a seed for yeah marble melon and a deep shroom deep shroom spore a mature flora specimen will grow if planted in the right conditions Ooh, gel sac spores yeah i guess we yeah let's let's get the gel sacs planted here it's oh what in the world man i keep going back and forth jeez <laughs> let's try and plant this down on the planter and gel sac spore might as well get some gel sacs planted here marble melon seed i don't think that works here uh we could probably see if we can get the kelp thing in there Although we might so, uh, might need something really tall for that, though. Anyways, there's a critter egg right there. Oh, whoa, we can actually physically see a critter. Holy heck. How do I crouch? I don't think I can crouch, but look at that. I'm going to zoom in on the video. There's a critter. Can I pick him up and then maybe maneuver him a little bit better? Oh, wait, here we go. I'm kind of on my stomach. And there we go. Wow, look at the critter. Look at that guy's eyes. He's like inside the else, uh, the egg sack or whatever that is. He's just kind of smiling. Wow, I guess that's the rare critter you guys were talking about. He's so cute. Hopefully he doesn't destroy my whole heckin' base. <laughs> oh, man. 